Dang, man, what a monster. Good job, Trailer maintenance. Am I? Got Mr. Kennedy here. Yeah, a little bit. Old dad. Doing a little preventative maintenance here on the old boat trailer. <laughs> Slide about. We had to get, guys. We had to get a new jack. The old jack had had it. Man, it was rusted up solid. Look at this. I mean, it's seen better days. That's what you gotta do when you're on a boat. You gotta, you gotta take care of her and do a little maintenance. I got dad here, he used to be a mechanic welder. He knows how to do all that stuff. That was hot, I'll tell you. We got that done, or getting that done. So uh, we can have a decent jack. See what it's doing to the concrete. Just rust and rust is just bleeding off of it into the concrete. Just making an eyesore. We got us a new jack. We got a Ful Fulton Jack, 1,500 pound rating. Hopefully that big boy is gonna do the job. We'll see. Oh yeah, two and a half inches. That should be plenty right there. Have you guys following the channel? We're out here working, doing a little boat maintenance, me and Dan, and. Uh, we just had, you know, just had to do due diligence to the boat. Um, the jack was all rusted up, and this Fulton jack is a beast, but it, it's just not enough room for it. So we ended up having to slide the winch back a little bit, probably, I don't know, what do you think, three inches or so? Yep. And uh, so I got the Metabo out, cutting the old bolts out. They were rusted anyway. And so we're going to do that replace the jack and we did a little maintenance on the house and then hopefully we'll be ready to fish so uh, you got to do your due diligence and then you guys that way you're safe on the water and you don't have anything unexpected because there's enough that can happen out there already but um you guys stay tuned and uh we'll get this thing fixed up all right we're finishing up tightening up the bolts got the old fulton jack installed getting ready to try her out we didn't bring a grease gun, but we're definitely gonna have to grease her up. Make sure she's ready to go. So my dad's 76 years old. You guys are probably wondering like, why is he making his dad do all the work? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, somebody's got a video. And if you've seen his phone, you know why. <laughs> Cause he's still got the flip phone. And I know some of you guys are still out there got the old flip phones. And I ain't changing. <laughs> so that's why he's doing the work. But he's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think it's going to be good. I think it's, it's going to work out good. So I hate I doing maintenance on a boat, you know, we're going to try to get us a new boat. We want to get a little bit bigger boat, a catamaran, and we're really hoping to get a Calcutta. And they are expensive, but um, we think it's going to pay dividends in the long run. We've had this boat. It's a, it's actually a 1976 Riballo. And uh, I restored it back. I bought the boat in 05. And, you know, I've just done my due diligence. I've rewired it. I've had it painted. I added the T-top. New, new gas tank. New gas tank. I mean, we, we stripped it down and we got a lot of sweat and tears, but it's been a great boat. Put in, repowered it with a 200 Suzuki, 200, excuse me, 200 Suzy. We'll put a new Suzy on there and it's been a great motor. 
So on that Calcutta, when we order it, we're hoping to put Susie's on it. And uh, but yeah, it's been a great boat. It's a heavy boat. It's full of foam, so it's. Uh, I've actually forgot the plug before, and it and it's been full of water, and it didn't sink. Thankfully, we were on the lake, and uh, but it did fabulous. It's been a great boat for us, and um, it's been nice because you know I, I never was an experienced boater, so I didn't know really what to get into. And with this boat. You know, we've modified it, remodified it to fit our needs. Used to have a bow rail, it went all the way across the top of the boat, around the boat. And that became cumbersome. It got in the way when we would throw our cast net for bait and uh, it was just hard on us. And so we remodified it to make it work because we didn't have a lot of money. And, um, but it's been good for us. So, you know, we've grown out of it and, uh, and we're hoping maybe to sell it one day. I don't know what we get out of it. Uh, you know, I know it's an older boat, but it's a solid boat. It really is. And um, we just want to be able to take people out with us fishing uh, as one body, as we can share the Christ with others and uh, just do that, you know, as we fellowship. So that's our goal. Um, so we're really hoping the Lord provides because it's expensive. And, uh, but you guys, you guys will know before we do, as far as the video, kind of like the thumbnail. You guys are going to know what the thumbnail is before I do. But, um, yeah, my dad, he's he's done well with us. And uh but you guys stay tuned and uh we'll get this thing back together. What do you think? Think it's gonna, gonna work? work? We'll see. Let me get that bolt. Alright, watch your foot. I think it said it was a 22 inch jack, so it should work, I hope. I wish I'd have brought the grease gun. I've got to tighten that wheel down at the bottom too. I didn't that's just barely snug that bolt through the wheel there. You want me to tighten it up? Do it now. It might be best once it's on the ground and won't spin around on it. You know, that's the only thing I hate about these Fulton jacks is the pivot pin. I, I wanted a solid jack that didn't pivot where it just went up and down. I didn't need another rust point. So if you guys are listening from Ful Fulton jack, make one that's a solid mount where you can just up and down with a with the jack. It doesn't pivot or rotate. So that's just another point of failure as far as salt water. And we don't need that. Oh yeah, that's going to work good. That's perfect. What do you think? Well, everything's ready except tighten the wheel up. Oh, well, it's finished. Yeah, we're getting three more U-bolts. Yeah, we got, yeah, so we had to move our I don't know what that part's called. What's that, the winch, winch mount? Or? Yeah, the winch mount. So we had to slide that back in order to get this Fulton jack in there. Cause this, it just took up so much room. You can see, because it's got that pivot point on there, it's, it added another inch. So we had to come further back on the frame to get that in there. But we got it and I think it's gonna work. So uh, we had to slide that winch probably two and a half inches back so we gotta go get some more bolts and i know the guys at work they're gonna give me a hard time because i got this matabo out here yes it is it is one from back in the old days it was thrown away <laughs> so all right looking good